Beautiful sunset tonight. I was out there on the beach covering yeah. a story with my jacket and tie on. Not exactly beach attire. Oh, no, but still, it's <laughs> nice to see that, you know. Yes. I'm doing some work out there and checking out the sunset. I was yeah. driving around and I was going to stop and take a picture, but I figured there'd be a lot of photos coming in. And there, there have was. been. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, get a look at this one right here. This is Alito Beach. Stephanie shooting this. A few clouds off there. It looks like a gentleman uh, walking or fishing right there on the beach and maybe even a blue heron. I can't really tell, but it's still a great shot. And then uh, we've got some more, but uh, I zipped right on by them. But uh, showers and storms, uh, we'll be posting them on mysuncoast.com and also Facebook, too, our Facebook site. Uh, you can check them out over the weekend. Uh, showers mainly offshore now. They're winding on down, and that activity continues to head off to the west. Now, there is a trough of low pressure that's moving through the uh, Texas area and Louisiana. That is going to have somewhat of an influence on the future path of what might be Bonnie before sunrise tomorrow. The National Hurricane Center says it's either going to happen uh, in the early morning hours or just around sunrise, that it will be transitioning from a tropical depression to a tropical storm, uh, Bonnie. It's not going to be a strong one, though, because there's still quite a bit of shear right before it makes its way into South Carolina as a result of this trough. On top of that, all the dry air that we've had, that may be entrained into it. And so what that means is that with that dry air moving into it, it won't have much of a chance to strengthen much. I mean, a lot of showers and storms still offshore of Sanibel and off of Marco Island. Those continue to push off the coast away from the land. And you can see all that uh, dry air starting to thin out a bit. But notice how it kind of trails all the way down here through the Florida Straits and through Cuba and then back up into the Bahamas. So some of this may eventually get caught up into the circulation uh, over the next uh, day or so, and it could inhibit it from developing into anything too serious as a uh, tropical storm. It'll be in the low end, it looks like, in terms of wind speed. 79 degrees. Uh, we have a nice night. Dew point, though, has come up. It's at 67 now. It had been in the 50s all week long, and that's very unusual. East winds at 10, and the pressure 30 inches even, and that now is starting to drop somewhat. The high today, 91. It's been warm over the past few days. Temperatures uh, a couple days ago tied a record at 94. 67 was the morning low. That was a nice start, and no rainfall to report officially at the airport. However, there were a few showers to our north near Pinellas County. A 70 in Jacksonville now, 75 in Orlando, still warm in Miami and Key West at 81 degrees. Temperatures all up and down the coast into the upper 70s there. Mid-70s, well inland in the Sebring and Punta Gorda at 75, Braden at 79 degrees. Well, that wind will stay out of these. There'll be a little breeze developing in the afternoon. There won't, uh, there won't be much penetration inland. However, right along that breeze is a chance for a few scattered showers and an isolated thunderstorm, not out of the question. But all in all, a pretty good weekend as we are anticipating uh, this storm and all this moisture to stay well to the north and east of us. A little bit of that uh, may trail in, but uh, not as much as uh, they're going to see in South Carolina. We talked about this earlier. Pressure at 1,009 millibars. The forecast path and track take it right on in uh, to the Carolina coast uh, with winds up to about 45 miles an hour. And as far as the models are concerned, they're all pretty much projected right there toward South Carolina. And that kind of meanders around there for a couple of days afterward before it could dissipate. Light chop. Seas running less than two feet and a lot of boating going on this weekend. Looks to be pretty good all the way through the weekend. Uh, temperatures uh, right now, the water temperature at 81 degrees and we're expecting a high of 87 at the beaches. Tides up coming on your screen and the next high tide will be at 721 tonight. A few scattered showers offshore, then fair skies, a low of 69 degrees. And the forecast tomorrow looks good. Scattered storms uh, in the afternoon, mainly 40% chance. It drops off a bit on Sunday and 30% to 20% on Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures close to seasonal averages.